Hey guys, it's Space of Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter with you. And uh, we had a really great weekend uh, with uh, the Renegade a Wrestling Alliance, just changing things up a little bit uh, with Wirecast, with some uh, new devices, going uh, full on HD uh, with that. So please go check that out, IndiaWrestling.us for RWA Seasons Beating. So what, what are we talking about? So we're getting uh, deep into uh, some ideas and thoughts for uh, video production today. Uh, the biggest thing are these right here, if you're on video, these are the Black Magic intensity shuttles uh we have uh, actually the usb and the thunderbolt versions on hand uh we we're running them in tandem here uh so what did we used to do for video production i actually have some images right here for you guys again on video if you're joining us a very big kind of hodgepodge of action going on here um we actually had a hardware switcher uh, that we inherited from the guy doing video production before, and it was really nice. And we had a two monitor set up. It was uh, uh, pretty pretty cool, uh, except it was only standard definition, and we were kind of working around that for a while. Not a big deal for the longest time because we just uh, you know a DVD was the product that we were putting out. Uh, but since I took over at the beginning of 2012, we we since uh, had had uh, moved everybody over to digital downloads. Uh, most of the stuff we sell on IndieWrestling.us is digital download. And again, comparatively, that doesn't look so well on a computer monitor or your Retina a MacBook or whatever the case may be. Or your 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 Plex to your TV. I don't I, I don't know how how technically proficient these guys are that are that are getting these things that they're doing something like that. But uh, you know we needed to upgrade things a little bit, and it's been kind of a struggle. With that I mean even to look even if you look at this, we actually have the hardware switcher going into another camera, uh, another camera. This is a Panasonic. It's actually a P2 card uh, base camera, and uh, and then that fire wires into this laptop which is uh, capturing things just so I don't have to capture tapes because we're, we're still running on HDV tapes, H, uh, uh, you know, uh, mini DV tapes for the most part. We do, we have always had a few HD cameras on hand, uh, but again, it, it, that switcher has not been uh, the case and, and, and we don't have a consistent run of these cameras, right? I, I, basically, I can't guarantee that we'll have an HD camera in both positions during these shows. So it's kind of odd to mix and match, plus, we never had the same make and model um, of these cameras, so that 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 you know they have to match at least there because they're both coming in at the same time. And we've really not had a good run of that. And because I mean, there's different settings, different lenses, different uh, different ways that they process color, basically, even across the two different Sony's I have, uh, which were fairly different. Um, they weren't even the same, I think, like prosumer level, to be honest. Um, and we've been working around that for the last, you know, again, several years. And I've known that we've needed to do an upgrade for a bit. And I wanted to move to a more digital format. Unfortunately, we weren't able to move like completely off tape as far as things go, at least for the backups, for the cameras themselves, but that's okay. So what did we do? Uh, you see, we were already using a computer kind of set up uh, to at least capture the footage. So, you know, again, the next day I can take that. I've already edited it live with a live switcher and, uh, you know, maybe fixed up a few things, uh, you know, crop, crop down the, the matches. So there's not a lot of extra stuff on them, and it goes directly into the next match, you know, you know, things like that. And then we're good to go. And basically, uh, if, if all goes well here, I have the show up by Sunday evening on IndieWrestling.us for you to download, purchase, and that's it. And uh, and we wanted to keep that. And I was asked uh, kind of along this process, well, why do you have to have a switcher? I'm like, well, time, you know, it's, uh, you know... <laughs> You know, time is of the essence here. And if I'm going to do something like this, I can't take yet another day to edit the thing, capture all the tapes, edit the thing together. I have to sit there for the duration plus one to sit there and switch it again and, and make sure everything matches up. And it's not that easy of a task. It's a largely, I basically have to live through the show yet again. And I just spend the majority of a day with this show to do the production, to do the setup, to do all the stuff. And it just financially, time-wise, does not work out. So we have to have a live product in order for this to, to go. And plus, you get it out the next day. Uh, the problem with the, One of the big problems with indie wrestling, I was talking to somebody else about this in indie wrestling, and they're like, yeah, it seems like you do a show and you don't see the show for two months. 
right because somebody has to find the time to do that. And this is usually isn't somebody's number one job. Um, that's how I circumvent it. And that's why it has to be done this way. Also, when, it, when we get good at this for wrestling, we're really good at this when we go do, like for a few, a few years ago, we took this setup and we did something with the women in biotech with Sorgatron Media. Uh, and now we're starting to uh, promote that through Sidekick Media Services, that we can go do an event that's live streaming. Um, and again, we don't have to worry about following people doing elbow drops and the like <laughs> at this point, right? We're, um, you know, we're, we're following people on stage speaking. You know, we're, we're the, you know, we're, 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 we're following the mayor talking about uh, businesses in Pittsburgh a lot easier than trying to keep up with Sanjay Dutt. I can tell you that. Um, so we've done the hard thing and now we can do the, e the easier but more professional thing uh, with, with the things that we've learned in this over the years. Um, so it's really been a nice testing ground for something like that. So what did we do? Um, what did I do, I guess? Uh, so I, I had been experimenting with these these for a little bit. I bought actually this uh, USB 3 version, and there's actually a card in the computer that I'm recording this on, uh, but I've never really had much luck with them over the years. Plus, and I discovered that the USB 3 was not compatible with the Mac format. Um, just something about the USB 3 uh, driver just didn't work. And they've since updated that as I, I went back to investigate again because I'm like, I got to figure this out. And I was actually going to just get two Thunderbolt versions of this. I might still, as, as I'm discovering, I, I'm still locking things down. Um, so we have two of these, and I have a little bit of uh, some pictures of the, of the new setup. And Wirecast is what we use for this. If you're watching on video, that's the graphics here. I have some stuff um, um, plugged into a Windows 8 computer I bought a couple of years, a nice i7 we got from Lenovo. And, uh, and, 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 you know, it's... You know, this this camera's hooked up to it. The graphics are hooked up. I can live switch. Like we're just talking with you guys on Periscope. You know, uh, holding down the uh, alt key and, and hitting one the ones and twos, and I'm good to go. Right? The audio's coming in. Everything's pre-mixed through the board, and we're taking that concept and we're pretty much just making it mobile. We're going through a MacBook Pro laptop. I believe it's a late 2013. Again, an i7. Pretty much i7 or bust if you're working in video. If you have the time, if you have the money for it, you know, it, it just it's the higher end one. Um, and we have a couple of these. I bought uh, uh, secondhand. Actually, the cameras that we used to use in Prime Wrestling. Uh, there are some nice Canons. Again, HDV, but very nice. And uh, we hooked them up through these, through uh, Component uh, Video Cords. That's your red, green, blue cords. Uh, bought a 100-footer, bought a 50-footer, and, uh, and and we were good to go. Bought a whole new board, a nice PV board. Uh, I'm not sure if I have a picture of that one necessarily. Uh, but yeah, a really nice PV board. Oh, I do have a picture of that. That was very thorough uh, this Saturday night at RWA. Uh, it, it just a, because typically, also part of that, lot, that hardware switcher we had before, there was a small soundboard built into it. So I was able to bring stuff in, the XLRs, to a small uh, mixer and then bring that into this other mixer and then that all came out into the camera into the computer I needed a new interface I needed a bigger inf interface so we got a was like a, a, a 10 channel 8 channel one two three <laughs> it's like an 8 channel uh, board really nice it's USB so I don't have to worry about having to go through adapters or anything like that. That digital sound comes straight from the board into the computer, into Wirecast, and mixes right in with the video, and we are good to go. And again here, why did I pick these? Um, the intensity shells. Some of you in video uh, may be familiar with the mini recorders that um, uh, that, that are out there from Blackmagic as well. Blackmagic, a really good standard in, in, uh, in high-end video equipment. Um, the Blackmagic ATM, ATEM, uh, is Adam? I don't know. Yeah, the 4K edition is actually what we switch with at uh, Work Hard Pittsburgh. I, I just want to have my own setup as well. I, you know, just just so I'm as mobile and don't have to, you know, uh, necessarily have to uh, work around a work hard schedule if we're double booked and such for streaming gigs. But uh, I, I like this because it's it's very. Um, it looks like it's very. You know, we have every input. If I got one of those mini records, we would have S SDI and we'd have HDMI. And then we'd have to buy adapters for those. These, we have HDMI, we have uh, the component cables, and if we're in a pinch, I have S-Video and Composite, which is the old S SD format that we even used to use on the old setup. And generally, it worked very well. Um, it, again, we have a nice product. Um, I had to do minimal work. You know, like before, we had it. I just throw the graphics on it, and we're all good to go. And even in the future, if we're getting a little more confident with this setup, we can add match graphics. We can add 
the on-screen graphics and stuff and do the whole production through Wirecast. Eventually, eventually. So we did have a couple of problems crop up, and there's a little bit of uh, how it looks uh, on Wirecast as we're uh, setting up for RWA season's beatings here on this past Saturday. And, uh, and and I kept it very, very slim. It was two shots and the audio, that's it. And also, you have the ability, there at the bottom, uh, you see the shots at the bottom. Um, um, you have the, I don't do this during the podcast because it's not really necessary, but for such high action thing, I kind of needed this for RWA. Um, I set it up, uh, you can turn on live view, in uh, I believe I'm on Wirecast 5. I think 6 is the most recent version. Uh, and I'm not currently seeing much reason to upgrade at this point for, for my needs. Um, so I turn on live view and then I'll get a, a little bit of a preview of what those shots are, lower frame rate, but still I have an idea where my guys are, where, what they're pointing at, especially the guy on ringside, see if they're doing any camera movements. And I, and I'm on a headset with them as well to try to coordinate as well and let them know what shot they're on. Like, okay, you're done. Go ahead and, you know, swing around the post, so, you know, swing around get that guy in the entrance, something like that. And we're pretty good to go from there. Um, Issues that came up, and this is the first run we did at RWA. We're going to be at IWC this weekend, and there is the bigger test because I have to add more hardware to the setup because we're going to a big screen. We're going to be um, putting videos online up up there. We stream the entire what we switch here to that, um, you know, that whole situation. Um, and so I want to make sure we are good with this part of the setup before we get to that part of the setup. So the issues I came up with, um, first of all, I'm trying to determine, it looked like we were having some issues with the ringside camera. Um, I don't know if it's because we had the longer cord, 100 feet of uh, component. I can imagine we're going to lose a little bit of quality at that. I think I'm going to try the 50 footer and see if it uh, looks a little bit better. Um, and I also don't know because it seems like the frame rate wasn't quite up to snuff to the other shot. So I'm wondering if we're losing a little bit because this is USB 3 instead of Thunderbolt. So the question is, is it my cord? Is it the fact that I need to get another Thunderbolt edition of these? Or is it a combination of both? Not entirely sure at this point. If you have any pointers, if you're an expert in these kinds of things, let me know. Uh, we're going to run with things and, and try a little bit different setup. Other issue that we had, um, so the cords I had, a little older. Um, there are these breakout cords that at least clip in nice versus the Sonys, which are horrible. Um, that just slide out no matter what when we're using the, their adapters for the uh, S-Video and composite uh, outputs when that's all we had. Um, but I think we had some, some issues with the connections um, at ringside. And whenever we did, uh, they don't always come back. It, 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 I don't know if it's Wirecast. I don't know if it's the interface with, uh, with uh, the, the, the Black Magic intensities. But I had to basically restart the entire system in order to get the camera back. And that, it didn't always work, which was really, you know, you can't stop the show. You really, I, a couple times we had to tell, tell the uh, announcer to, to stall for a minute while I restart the computer. Thankfully, it's a very fast SSD MacBook, and it was, you know, it was quick, right? And then the guys in the back, I had a monitor actually fed to the back from the HDMI out and just feed into that. And uh, it would just show, like, I, I was talking to some of the wrestlers afterwards, like, oh, it looked real good. But I saw a beautiful mountain every once in a while. <laughs> I was like, yes, because I was restarting the computer, and I hadn't set a signal to you yet. <laughs> so, um so we're going to work around those, see what's going on there. Um, you can join us at IWC's uh, Winter Takes All in uh, West, or I'm sorry, in Elizabeth, PA, IWCWrestling.com. And if I fail, I'm going to fail very much in public because, again, these are going to be hooked up to a projector. And you're going to see if I screw something up, if it crashes more or less. Um, I have some ways that I think I'm going to be able to cover that up. We're working on that. Uh, but, uh, but no, we're going to try that. And, uh, if I, if it looks like, you know, I might still have some issues now, granted, again, I don't think everything looked a hundred percent. We're only recording at 720, So I wasn't pushing the envelope as far as, uh, of, as far as processing and everything. We are up to HD. It's better than what we had before. We're stepping up, right? Eventually I'd love to have a 1080 product out of this. Um, but, uh, for the moment, I think we're going, we're going, we're going to be conservative with it, of course, because I don't, I don't want to overstep and then we're crashing in my, in the middle of the show. I want to find the issues as we build up. Uh, I think that's a very uh, nice, safe way. No, and again, nobody, nobody that I work with on this is expecting an HD product as far as the 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 clients go. Um, they're happy. They've been ha more than happy with the video. Uh, the last several years, thinks it looks very good. They're watching it on DVD. Um, you know, and 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 really, 
I don't think even, you know, I've had many complaints that's not HD from the customers either. Um, maybe they're silently complaining about it. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're complaining with their dollar. I don't know. Uh, but uh, but I think it needs to, I, I think it, 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 it makes a difference that you have that little HD bug even in the corner of YouTube if a lot of people don't notice the difference. And I know a lot of people don't. I know this is a thing that bugs me for several years because I'm editing on a Retina MacBook and I see the difference. Um, but I'm a video producer, so I'm going to see the difference. So there's a quick rundown on what's going on with us. We're using Wirecast, a really great program. I definitely, uh, if you're looking to get in video and need a nice switcher, um, investigate it. It's not just I download this thing and it's good. Plus, it's expensive. It's something like four or five hundred bucks for the main version, and there's like a thousand dollar version with some extra bells and whistles. Uh, even the upgrade is 150 bucks for me. Um, and and I got to give a shout out to Stephen Haywood of the Tech Buzz, by the way, because he's actually the one that uh, hooked me up initially uh, with an additional of wirecast legally yes it was a <laughs> it was a promotional thing um but uh he's the one that kind of got me to dive into it and it's been it's just stepped up my game across podcasting across video production in general opened up a world of options i've since paid for it uh with upgrades and such since um but uh he's really the one that kind of got me in the door for that and he was an he was an advocate for them long before i got on board with i was using boinks tv for my podcast before that. it was so heavy it's such a heavy program. It just, it, it, you know, we have so much flexibility with Wirecast over that. It's so great. Um, if you want to hear more about Wirecast, let me know. And maybe we'll do a few more shows on this. Uh, um, uh, let me know on, um, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is my blog where this this show lives. And I try to write something up every Friday and sign up for the newsletter so you can get that right in your mailbox as well. Over at the newsletter, little button over at uh Sorgatron.com and everything else at SorgatronMedia.com. If you want me to do some video production for you and uh, or or a social media with my awesome awesome team here, um, let us know over at SidekickMediaServices.com. You can check out the demo reel. Of what's what we've done in the past with Sorgatron Media, and uh, and there's a contact form there. We're working on the website. Hope to have that to you very very soon. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.